Hey right, guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I'll be making a cape. And the first thing I'll be doing was just folding my fabric. So my fabric is 44 inches. So it's less than 2 yards. So the first thing I'll do is to fold into two like this. Then I'll fold again like this. So I'm working on this edge here. This edge, you can see the edge that has fold. That's what I'm working on. This edge like this. You can see this place folded. So these places they are open. This side too is open. So this is the side I'm working on. So the first thing I'll do is to take my neck measurement. And my neck measurement is 13 inches. So I had my allowance which you gave me what 14 inches. So that 14 inches, I'll divide it by 6.28. 14 inches added by 6.28 to get my circumference for my neck. So I'll be measuring what 2.2. .2. I cut out my neck. So I've cut out my neck circumference out. Now I want to measure what my length of my top. So I have what 19 inches here. So I'll measure that 19 inches round. 19 inches round. So I'll cut it like this. So I'll slit one of this side open. So I'll slit this place open, just one of it. So to serve what as my front. So it should be the front. So the next thing I want to do now is to cut out what my color. For my collar, I'll be using this paper. I'll fold the paper on bias in a triangle shape. So I folded into a triangle. Remember my neck circumference, I used what 13. So on this place, I'll look for where I can get what 6.5. That's 13 divided by 2. 6.5. So this is 6.5 here. On this mark 6.5 so I'll indicate here you see so I'll get the measurement from here to here now I have 8.75 so it is that 8.75 I'll take round like that 8.75 So you can see so for the um, wideness of my neck i need one inch so i'll measure upward now from here upward so i'll be cutting this out so this is what i'll use to cut what my neck so this is the place i actually opened i don't want this sharp edge here so i have to create a cuff for my front so this is it so i'll turn this side with bias except my neck i'll turn everything the edges need to go from this place from here round to this place so I'll be turning it with bias so this is my color I will first sew on this place I'll close this place up here like this up here and I'll close here. So I'll have this down part 
left. So I've sewn. I also cut out a paper stay, a high on, on this side, like this. Just on one part. You can iron on both if you want to, to make your color thick. So, I have my sewing allowance left. So, it was this I used to cut out with my paper stay. So, I've ironed my color. See, inside there, I have my stay. So, I've also folded this place in, folded it in. So, I ironed to have my exact color like this so i'll be fixing it on my neck now so i open like this and put this inside like this So I've pinned it down round. So I'll take to the sewing machine and sew on this place like this. Round. Like that. So this is my pink after finishing. This is actually it. So I just keep it like this. So I'll fix my button and my button hole. My button hole will be on this side and my button will be on this side. So you can see that's everything about it thank you guys for watching please if it's your first time on my channel kindly subscribe please make sure call everyone there kindly subscribe and keep watching my video please turn on the notification bell so i can get notification when i actually post the video thank you guys i'll catch you guys in my next video bye